Hey guys, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra, and welcome to the community if you're new here. If you've been here for a while, um, I want to explain something, because I bet you've been wondering where I went to after Halloween. So, after Halloween, um, some things kind of happened, and I want to apologize to you guys, because I wasn't out responding to comments, or I haven't really been that vocal lately, and I really haven't posted a lot of videos lately. And I want to explain. First of all, Good to know, I did get rid of any scary spirits or anything crazy that I collected over Halloween. So that was long since gone. Um, I think the morning of November 1st, I was pretty much done with all the creepy stuff that had been hanging around. Uh, too much stuff was happening in my home, so got rid of all that. So that was good, but that wasn't really the problem and what was going on. Um, so I want to kind of talk about that and explain. So you guys can kind of know where I went and what was going on, and um, I don't want you all to feel abandoned. Um, so it's kind of hard to talk about, but I don't know if you guys have heard of Hurricane Harvey. I'm sure you pretty much by now everyone has. Um, it happened in 2017 and it happened to uh, Houston and Galveston. Now, I was not living here at the time, but my dad and my stepmom, and she's been my stepmom for... She's been my stepmom for over 30 years, but they actually had a home here that I have been visiting um, since I was like five years old every summer, and I was living in Houston. I've been living in Houston for, gosh, I don't even know how many years, um, but I was in Washington taking care of my mom because she was really sick, and Hurricane Harvey came. Um, fortunately, you know, myself and my children and my mother was okay. Unfortunately, my dad and my stepmom and their house was not okay. Uh, they were actually in the town of Dickinson, which was one of the towns that was hit the hardest. It was the one you saw on the news where the boats were going down the main street, basically, and people were getting rescued from their rooftops. So, uh, they got hit pretty hard. Now, when Hurricane Harvey came to town, my dad was actually in the hospital. Um, he was very ill, and I was, like I said, I was up in Washington, but he was ill, and I was trying to get back down here to see him and, and help look after him. Um, he had cancer, and my stepmom actually had cancer, too, and their house got completely destroyed during Hurricane Harvey. It got flooded, molded, uh, they had to rip out the walls, they had to rip out the floors, everything was a mess. Now, my dad was in the hospital this, the whole time of Harvey, and because he was there, uh, my stepmom didn't want to leave because she wanted to stay nearby in case my dad needed anything in the hospital. So she had to go through all that mess, and it was really stressful and really hard on her. Well, not long after the hurricane, um, the hospital decided that they would let my dad out, uh, which was a horrible decision because he basically came home, and although he was very ill, uh, he went back to his home being ruined um, and it was too much for him and uh, he had a stroke and later passed away from that and complications um, on Veterans Day November 11th uh, 2017. Well right before he passed my stepmom had found out that uh, she was dealing with this house that was ruined you know her husband of 30 some years passing and her cancer that had been in remission for eight years had come back. And so I lost him in November. And she went in for a stem cell treatment in April and was only supposed to be there three weeks. And uh, passed away two months later and never came out. So it's been a really hard last year, I guess you could say, for me. Um, that's one of the reasons that I really want to start talking to people spirits on YouTube. Um, I do have a gift. I am a medium. Um, and so I wanted to be able to, I know how hard it was for me to lose both my parents in, in a year time. Now my mom, she's, she's still okay. Um, for now, she's not doing very well either. Um, but I told her she's not allowed to pass away. So ho hopefully that'll work for now. Um, but that's one of the reasons I want to start doing YouTube is because I figured that I needed to use my gift to help other people who have had losses, um, even if it's a celebrity. You know, sometimes you can feel really close to celebrities, and it's good to know that those people that you did care about, they did follow, that they have passed on, that they're in a better place, and what's going on with them, or even helping them pass on, which I don't typically do, but 
yeah, uh, recently I have done some of that. Uh, but that's what's been going on with me. So, I was doing good up until Halloween. Um, November hit, and I haven't really been making videos or talking in comments or being hanging out with you guys, I guess. And so I am so sorry. I apologize, and I wanted to start out this video by letting you guys know where I vanished to. So I'm sure things are going to get harder, of course, coming up around Christmas, but I plan on staying around. So you'll be hearing from me, and I'll be back bothering you guys in comments and bringing videos to you. Uh, so again, I'm sorry for that. Another thing, though, that I want to add to this this video is I talked to someone a while back about that they were having a haunting in their home and they wanted some answers about what was going on. Was it, are they being haunted? Are they psychic? Um, is it a good spirit, a bad spirit? You know, we don't know and she doesn't know. So we need to try and figure out what is going on and I want to see if I could help her. Yeah, through October, I didn't really want to contact anyone's family because who knows what I was inviting over. And I was having a sage a couple times a week, so it got kind of crazy. But I am back to talking to families now. And um, I'm going to work out a like a program where I can do that for you guys, where I can do spirit box sessions for um, you know your loved ones or family. Unfortunately... I am going to have to charge a little bit for this because it takes a lot of my energy away and it takes a ton of time, I'd say 8 to 10 hours for every spirit box session I do because I have to record it, I have to review it, I have to have my specialist review it, um, I have to edit it, I have to render it, I have to upload it so it does get kind of crazy and all that is, you know, a good 8 to 10 hours for each time that I'm taking away from my children and not supporting them any other way. So, coming out soon, uh, within the next few days, I'll give you information on how we can do that and talk to family. Um, also, setting up a Patreon and all this because I would love to be able to do this full time for you guys where we can talk to people that you care about and people that you love. So anyway, I want to make sure that I can do that for you guys, but there's one person that I have been working with who... Like I said, she is having some major haunting problems, and we need to know what is going on. Now, I don't like to edit out spirit box sessions. You guys know that. I do my best not to edit anything out on a spirit box session. The only time I do that is if my camera dies. However, there's going to be an exception to this one. Because this is one of my subscribers, um, I want to keep her privacy. So anytime that I am saying her name and her last name, uh, well, I can tell you her first name. Her first name is Nikki. But anytime I'm saying her last name, um, you will see an edit out because I will edit that part out. But what is going on in her house? Basically, she's having doors open and close um, all the time, slamming shut. She's having her fire alarm go off at random times, like 3, 4 in the morning, waking her up. Her son is seeing an apparition of a small boy in their hallway. The cat doesn't want to go down the hallway and is afraid of the hallway. So a lot of crazy stuff is going on. So I figured that I would send Ethan and E, my guides, over to her house to check and see what is going on. Maybe they can give us some answers. If they can tell me who it is, if they have a good message or bad message, what's going on. And then from there I can help her and if it's something bad, then, you know, I can help her come up with ways that, that she can get rid of that and and get whatever there is out of her home. She also want to know, you know, is she psychic? Being psychic, I think, is something that everyone has. It's an ability everyone has. It's just, are you willing to take the time to work on that ability? Um, that takes a lot of meditation. That takes a lot of mental work. I, I started when, ooh, I'm not even going to say... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm going to give away my age there, and I'm not going to say, but I will say it's been, like, over 20 years, and we're not going into it other, any further than that. So, yeah, so I assume she has abilities. Maybe Ethan and he can tell us what abilities she has, and go from there. But let's go ahead, talk to the spirit boxes. If you're new here, um, I do two spirit box sessions. The first one is the PSV7 spirit box. It's the one that you're going to see on most YouTube channels, most ghost adventure shows, ghost hunting shows. You'll see it everywhere. Uh, the other one that I do use is an app. And fortunately, it's only for iOS. It's called SVX12 Spirit Box Lite. I'm not affiliated with either of the companies. I use the Lite version of the app because it's free. I've never had any problems, never had any ads. 
so I, uh, yeah, I guess that's the housekeeping issues of, of what we do. I don't edit my spirit box sessions, and my spirit box sessions are reviewed by a specialist, um, a military Navy trained specialist. So anything that I hear will be in throughout this video. Anything that you hear, let me know in the comments below. And what else do we got to talk about? Oh, I have new merch. I have a whole bunch of new merch. I'm so excited. I designed a whole bunch of really cool merch. Let me know what you think about it. Go check it out. www.teespring.com slash Enchanted Bayou. You. Um, you'll see my storefront. Um, you'll see some of the old stuff up. And then you'll see all the cool new stuff. So a lot of cool new designs. Tons of cool colors. Everything you can imagine. I mean, pillows, phone cases, everything. So there's all kinds of cool stuff in there. So go make sure that you check that out. Uh, I'm so excited about it. So hopefully I'll be getting mine here soon too. Also, if you go and check out Teespring, um, my storefront, then you're going to find that some things might not be available. Uh, if you're looking for something special and you decide, oh, I'll come back the next day, it might not be available. Don't worry, it will come back. The reason that it might not be available for one day or the next day is because the way Teespring works is basically you when you order something, um, you they don't ship it until the campaign is over. And so the campaign could be like a month, I think is what you can set it to. Well, I don't want you guys to have to wait for an entire month to get your stuff if you ordered it. So I have mine at the lowest possible setting, which is three days, so that means that for three days, all the orders that are there um, will be, at the end of three days, will be shipped out, and then you guys should get your stuff really fast. And then everything goes down for like a day. And then, because you have to have a downtime, which makes no sense to me, but you have to have a downtime. But then everything pops back up and it'll be there for another three days. So if you see something and maybe come back later and you're like, oh, I should have got that or whatever, and it's not there, don't worry, check back 24 hours later, and it'll be there. Um, and also, you won't have to wait for a month for delivery. So, sorry about the inconvenience, that's just how they work. I'm not sure why, but, ah, we'll get through it together. Anyway, let's figure out uh, what is haunting one of you guys. Um, her name is Nikki, and let's go ahead and get in the spirit box and prepare for the noise, because it's going to get loud. Okay, guys, so we are doing spirit box session. Um, guys, if you're around, I really need to talk to you. I am trying to get information for one of our subscribers, Nikki. She lives in Vegas. She was born the same year I was. Ethan and E, are you here? I'm trying to reach out for Nikki and see what is bothering Nikki and her family. What is going on in Nikki's home? A lot of crazy things have been happening at her home. Tell me what is going on in Nikki's home. Well, I'm getting cursed at a lot. Is Nikki's home being haunted? They say they see a little boy in the hallway. Is this really a little boy? Ethan, can you tell me, is this really a little boy? What's his name? If this is a boy that's haunting their home, what is his name? Are they in any danger in their home? Speak up 
ladder, please. Is there really a child in their home? Is it really a child or is it something pretending to be a child? Is it really a child or something pretending to be a child in their home? Does Nikki and her son have abilities? Do Nikki and her son have special abilities that she's unaware of? If Nikki does, say Nikki. Why am I getting such creepy stuff? I think we're going to stop this and go and try the other spirit box. This is kind of getting, that's kind of getting like really creepy. We'll see what the other box says, okay? So I'll start the other box right now and uh, let's get to it. Prepare for the noise. Okay, guys, I need a clear answer on this. Ethan and E, you are the only ones I am permitting to talk. No one else. What is going on at Nikki's house? I need you to fry Nikki's house and tell me the truth. Is the boy in the hallway really a boy? Why is he in their hallway? If he's really a boy, what's his name? Is he the only spirit in that house? Okay guys, so hopefully Nikki, um, that gave you some answers and uh, yeah, if, uh, if there's anything else that I hear or when I'm going through it, if things get really creepy, whatever, then um, I guess I'll leave a message at the end of this video or, oh, I can email you back and, and tell you to contact me and we can see what's going on. Um, if activity picks up after doing this, uh, definitely email me, let me know, please let me know what's going on. Um, I don't want anything bothering you guys or causing you problems. So let me know. Just let me know how things go after this. Um, hope you all are doing well. Again, sorry I've kind of been... 
I guess, suppressed for a couple weeks um, about my dad and my stepmom and, and everything going on. Uh, but I love you all, and I'm happy you're here, and I'll have a whole bunch of cool videos coming out for um, November and December, of course. So I will be seeing you very soon. Love you all. Bye.